Hey, how's it going? I'm Tim Holtz. Today, we're going to talk about masks. Why? I've had tons of emails asking about how these things work. So, I'm here to show you. Let's check it out. So, these are masks. And I have to tell you a little bit about masks. This was actually developed by Heidi Swap, a really good friend of mine. And the great thing, this has been my favorite tool in the papercraft industry. I've used them for years. And Last year, she actually asked me if I wanted to design my own, which of course I wanted to. So she's got her little seal of approval on the back of each one of these. I designed six different styles to start. I did some borders, I did a flourish, something seasonal, I did cobwebs, did some music, really cool time works, clock and gears, and I did an alphabet. So let's open this up just so you can see how these work, because these are slightly different than Heidi's. So when you first take it out of the package, you're going to notice that there are two sheets. You're gonna have a black printed sheet and your mask material. And my masks are actually clear. Heidi's were black, mine are clear, and I'll show you a little bit as to why I did these clear. Now the instructions for what I'm gonna show you are on the back of the package when you buy it. But the first thing you need to do when you get a mask is you need to prep it, you need to clean it up because this is all fused onto one sheet. So we're gonna peel this up, and it is die cut. Now this is a repositionable vinyl that's already been die cut, that's what a mask is, it's kind of a negative stencil. But when you peel it off, you need to be careful because this can tear, so you wanna peel this off. When you first peel it off the backer, you may have some little pieces that are stuck in there and that's why we have to prep it. So what you do to take those out is get a piece of scrap paper, lay this down, just white copy paper is fine, anything like that. Then you really wanna kind of burnish it on there with your hands. And then you can just peel this off. And what's gonna happen are all those little inside pieces are gonna be left on the paper, and then you can throw it away. And now your mask is ready to use because all those little inside pieces are gone. And you wanna do that to each of the masks on the sheet. Once it's prepped and you're done using it to store it, that's where the printed backer comes in. You're gonna take your mask, and now it'll stay right onto the printed backer. So you can save this, and this is how you would store them. Your leftover mask stuff, this you would just throw away because to try to use the negative, it's really difficult because these are all individual floating pieces. So it's too much trouble. I just toss this and we're going to use it. So let's show you how it works. Just taking a piece of paper, I'll take my mask. Let me peel it off of the backer again. And you can just stick this down. The nice thing about it being repositionable, really, you can just lift it off and put it anywhere you want. After you use it, if you need to wash it, you can wash it with soap and water and you don't have to worry about the adhesive coming off, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna take ink, blending tool, tap this on, and I'm just gonna start working the ink right on it. Now you wanna be careful. Notice I'm kinda of twisting it versus my standard circular motion. The problem is if you get um, in a circular motion, you could actually catch some of this detail area and we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna go under the mask. We don't wanna lift it. So I'm just gonna do kind of a twisting motion real quick just to show you. So, as you can see, my image is showing up. So here's the cool thing of why I did mine clear. I can see exactly what I'm going to get before I even lift it off. So if I want more contrast than this, I could go back and add more ink. If I wanna add a different color, I can go back and add a different color. So basically, what you see is what you get. You don't have to worry about um, lifting it off and then reapplying it if it's not what you wanted. So before I lift it off, I'm just gonna take a cloth and I'm just gonna wipe this off. This way, if I have any um, wet ink that's on there, I don't have to worry about that. Peel this off and there is my masked image. How cool is that? Now, if you didn't have a big sheet of paper, like if you weren't gonna work on a scrapbook page, even if you wanted to do a card, I know these masks are kind of big, um, but you could still use parts and pieces of it. That's what's so great, and you can use it as part of a background for something stamped. So let's talk about some other things. What else can you do with masks? Well, take a look at this. So this is going to be our 12 by 12 page. This one, I used the Flourish mask, and I used my ink blending tool, and I blended this out. And this is really nice because even on pattern paper, you could use a mask. On this one, I took the same Flourish mask, only I took some re-inker and put it in a mini mister and sprayed on there. So you can use spray ink from your mini misters, your color wash, even spray paints to get a really cool mask effect. This one, I used acrylic paint. Just use acrylic paint from a paint dabber, put this on, because I wanted it to be pretty subtle. 
I went in, blend it with some cut and dry foam, so now I've used the mask with acrylic paint. Now we start to get a little funky. This one, love it, took a piece of paper, placed my mask down, and I stamped over the mask. Just take a rubber stamp, stamp right over it, and while it's down, you can go in and even add a little bit of blending tool, but isn't that great using a rubber stamp? Then this one, check this one out. This, I used my sanding grip. So what I did is actually placed my mask on my craft sheet. Then I positioned my paper over the top of it, taped it down with some masking tape and used a sanding grip and just in a circular motion, sand right over the top. Now the reason I use a sanding grip is because I want a flat sanding surface. I don't want to use my fingers because that's going to press in and we want this to be as flat as possible. Cool thing is, circular motion, again, what you see is what you get. Dust it off and when you're happy with it, that's the effect. It looks like it's embedded in the paper. So those are some cool things that you can do with masks. You can use it with sandpaper or stamps or paint or ink or sprays. You can just use them. One other thing I want to show you really quick is on the alphabets. When you get the alphabet, there's only one topper sheet. That is because the alphabets do not require any prep work at all. There are four sheets. You have alphabets, numbers, punctuation, and they don't need to be cleaned at all. They are ready to go. So you would actually store them right back on this sheet. All right. So hope you had a good time. Hope you learned a little bit more about masks. You're going to be seeing some demos on my blog using these things. They are so much fun. I simply love them. Hope you have a good time with them. See ya.